Very good evening my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So today we are going to use the 20 pips a day strategy and I believe it is one of the must beloved strategy on my channel and I think everyone want to see more of this strategy. Uh, before we start of course as usual we need to confirm that this is indeed my live account. So you can look at the top to the left guys. And as you can see, I'm hiding my number for security reasons. We can see that this is indeed IC Markets Live 12, uh, which reminds me, by the way, uh, I believe right now IC Markets is the safest broker in the world. Um, that is because they are based actually on, in Australia and they are not in Europe and they are actually safe from the possible of economic crisis to happen in Europe. Therefore, I personally feeling so much more safe to keep my money and using IC markets uh, services. And if you are willing to open account in IC markets as well, I would really appreciate your support to that channel if you can do that by opening it from the account. Uh, or the link actually provided in the uh, in the description below this video you can click that link and give a try to IC markets you can try them and that will be actually a good support to the channel so I can continue going uh, and giving you these live trading videos and it's like it's a kind of way to appreciate the hard work I'm doing for you so let me just uh, drag this up again um, uh, it's not one second guys hold on yes I think it's perfect right now so let me just tell you something here that unfortunately our signals for the euro USD USD CAD uh, USD CHF did not work however for the gold we can see that the gold has hit the uh, entry level on 1595 and so far the gold is going in almost thousand uh, sorry 150 pips of profit so let me now try to find some other good setup so I can enter right front of you. And again, of course, we are on. The, let me just get rid of all of that. And we are on the four hour charts. Look at that. This is perfect. This is perfect. Uh, I'm going to place the sell right away. So why did I place sell order here for the USD CAD? Actually, the reason is very simple. We can look here uh, if we switch to the 30 minute time frame. Let me go to the left and show you that. Okay, that is very interesting. Actually, I have marked this level before uh, recording. We can see that we are having right here a support level right here and right here. And let me just uh, show you this. Let me zoom in. Uh, this is the one. So look at that. As I'm telling you always, guys, in the other live trading videos, you always need to look at the nearest tail or wick to the bearish or bullish breakout candle. So this is the breakout candle. This is breakout candle. Breakout, yeah, this is a breakout candle. And we can see that we're having right here the support level, but where is the nearest uh, wick or tail to this candle? It is just right here. Therefore, that is exactly where I'm going to place my trade. And that is exactly also what I did. And we can see that the trade right now is going into the profit. Uh, six dollars so far so let me now go back to the current uh, candles and let's check this out so since I'm trading the 20 pips a day strategy and I want to get out of the market with 20 pips only let me just select my take profit level right here 17 pips unfortunately why so again I have to explain this always why did I place this as my take profit level right here? The reason is simple because right here is laying the nearest resistance to this uh, breakout candle. So I have placed my trade on this resistance and based on the 20 pips a day strategy, I always should exit my trade at the nearest resistance, which is exactly right here. So unfortunately, this nearest resistance is only 17 pips far away. It's not 20. You can never, you cannot force the, the setups to give you 20 pips like that. Because it's, it's high, there is high probability that the market actually might reach this previous resistance before touching your take profit level. And then it's going to continue going more up. And in that way, you will end up in loss. So that was a good deal we have entered. Uh, let me just try to find something else. Uh, let's try to find some other setup to enter. 
and I'm just checking the pair on the four hour chart one by one look at that that is interesting that is very interesting I think we can place for the USDGPY we can scalp the market yes why not scalp it only scalping guys serious look look at that amazing spread from IC markets that is what I'm really happy for and I'm very satisfied look at that the thread has been activated exactly where I wanted it to be yeah anyway um for the USDGPY if we go to the four hour chart we can see very clearly that we're having here a previous resistance that resistance has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle then after that we can see that we had here the support number one and I have placed a buy order on support number two now definitely I'm not expecting from the USDGPY to go up no not at all I'm just scalping because I'm trading the bounces that is about to happen from this trade for all from this level what I'm expecting now let me now go to the 30 minutes time frame so that is the support we talked about the support number one so I'm expecting from the candle actually this one to make a small bouncing like a shock or reaction to this level the candle actually might make just like that a bouncing until hitting this previous support before continue falling more down now we can see the candle is trying to go down below this level so far it's not able to uh, let's just set the take profit level to be 20 pips and actually it's very similar to the previous trade of the uh, USD CAD what we can see right here is that the pair not able actually to be um, or it's not it's not uh, more than 20 pips it's just like I think 15 pips only 15 pips only because that is right here the nearest resistance and I cannot really risk keeping the take profit level higher than that as I said the market actually might reach this level right here hitting the previous support and then it's gonna continue falling down so better be safe than sorry and so far the both uh, both of the trades are actually going in loss we just have to wait and see what will gonna happen uh, we have to keep our eyes on the trades we cannot leave them uh, because the market right now is moving in high, very high volatility we always have to be very careful that's why uh, I'm just gonna pay attention and keep my eyes on the trades uh, meanwhile let's try to find some other setup to enter and again I'm on the four hour chart I'm just looking at the setups hopefully to find something yes look at that Cal JPY look at the cat GPY guys we can see that the candle has broken out from this resistance level so this is the breakout candle it's going down it has to reverse somewhere so we can see that we are having right here a previous resistance which was also a previous support and even it was a support right here so again this is the four hour chart let me quickly go to the 30 minute time frame I need to find this quickly because it seems like it's gonna make a good bouncing here and we can see that on the 30 minute time frame we are already having right here a support number one look at that as I'm telling you always you have to look at the four hour chart to decide what kind of order you are going to open is it buy or sell then go to the 30 minute time frame and then we can decide where exactly I'm going to enter my trade now on the 30 minute time frame we can see clearly a support number one therefore I'm going right now to switch here to the current time and I'm going to wait for the candle to fall more down actually to hit this level and then I'm going to place the buy order uh, look at that the trades one of them is going in good profit the other one going in loss yes I'm aware that it was not smart to buy and sell the USD uh, at the same time however I was relying on these setups I think the CAD is not seeing good days now I think it's gonna continue rising however I'm not going to decide anything until I see this very same candle closes as a bullish breakout candle above that uh, resistance and you know something I believe let me go to the 15 minute time frame oh yes it's gonna okay close it with $14 of loss the very simple reason I close the trade is on the 15 minute time frame I saw this breakout candle that is very important price action this candle indicating a continuation 
and that means that the market is going to continue rising more up and the candle has closed like that actually i am really really sorry because i'm late on making the live uh, uh the video about the price action i believe it's very important and it's gonna ve be very helpful to explain these uh, candles i think we will do it this week i mean i have to do it i have to I'm really late and it has been a month since I'm promising to make that video believe me guys it's not easy video to make at all anyway that candle here is indicating a continuation in the breakout candle the and the, in the breakout uh, pattern therefore I'm going uh, that's why I have closed this trade with the loss we lost $14 on that trade however uh, we are recovering right now from the USD GPY trade so so far everything is going well no need to be worried and we can see right here uh, the cash gpy is actually falling more down it's getting very close to our entry level so until that happens let me just uh, try to find something else which we can enter right away this one here as as well if i'm not mistaken mm, no i don't like it let me try to find something else so I'm just checking the pairs one by one hopefully we can find something okay let me look go to the 30 minute time frame and I think I'm late I'm a bit late six pips late uh, what we can see right here on the four hour chart for the uh, EuroCAD the EuroCAD we can see that we are having right here a resistance level and we can see that we had here a fake breakout candle and right now the market seems to be approaching the very same level of that resistance so this resistance is going to keep its position as a resistance and I think it is a good uh, level to start shorting the USD sorry the EuroCAD um, I'm a little bit late but that's fine I'm going to place the trade right now anyway because on the 30 minute time frame let me show you let me show you this on the 30 minute time frame what we can see is very clear resistance as i said before and we can see that we have here a previous support remember uh, that is on the 30 minute time frame so we are having this support level uh, that support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle and therefore we can see that the market now is reversing and that resistance is keeping its posi uh, position as a resistance look at that beautiful so let me just set my take profit level to be 20 pips and unfortunately i cannot select higher than 17 pips the reason is that is right here guys the nearest resistance to this uh, uh, resistance level or my entry you see I, ent I have entered late if i entered right here i would have i would have been in more profit however that is that is still fine we're good and we can see that our take profit level should give us $23.17 pips which is actually fine so we have right now two good uh, trades running at the same time let me go back to the four hour chart go back to the uh, pound and zd and hopefully we can find something good to trade uh, let me just look here i'm just trying to find something uh, quickly to give us some quick profits now the pound chf actually is interesting it's very interesting look at that check it out on the four hour chart we can see that we had here a previous support level that support has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle and then we can let me just zoom in to show you that uh, yeah this one we can see that this is the breakout uh, the, sorry this is the support level has been breaking out by this candle by the way it looks very small but believe me i believe that's a lot of pips in this candle yeah almost 40 pips from this one candle so we can see that after the breakout candle happened we can see that we are having here a resistance number one and right now the market has approached this level of a resistance number one the candle is exactly right on it and i'm going to place the sell order right away only looking at the four hour chart this is very nice trade that is one of the trades that i like actually because i mentioned to you before that i really love to trade the pound pairs with the 20 pips a day strategy so go back to the 30 minute time frame 
and we can see that the candles um, you know something maybe I'm a little bit late that was the first touch that is the first bounce from the level and that bounce has already happened and gave approximately 25 pips of profit let's wait and see I think still the second bounce should be fine so let me just select my take profit level to be 20 pips and that is the reason why I just really love trading the pound pairs a small reversal very small reversal can means a lot of profits and also one small mistake or one loss can cost you a lot so you have to be always very careful especially right now nowadays the market is moving in very much high volatility as I told you so we always have to be very careful so I'm gonna keep my eyes on these trades let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with all these opened trades so as we can see <coughs> uh, USD GPY has hit the take profit level one with sorry uh, it has hitting the take profit with almost 16 pips of profit so the account is now for $80 so we have recovered the losses plus profits and we can see right now uh, the EuroCAD is not going well so far but still of course I would not decide that this trade is in loss yet of course that is way too early uh, the pound CHF is actually going well so far we are gonna keep the trades running so so far so uh, let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you later to show you another setup once I find it this is the CAD GPY trade which I have marked earlier is getting very close to our entry point as you can see is getting very close to the line I have drawn here earlier and I believe I'm going to place the buy order right now it's just one pip away that's fine I have placed the trade let me refresh your memory uh, we go let's go to the four hour chart and as I told you we are looking right here on this setup um, yes so as I said to you guys we had here what's wrong one second something happening here um, one second guys hold on okay yes now it's okay so let me just remind you here uh, we had this breaking out this support here has been broken out uh, by this bearish breakout candle and as I mentioned to you we are having right here a previous resistance and I'm expecting from, from the market to actually reverse right on that resistance look at that the candle right now is bouncing on the level and if we go to the 30 minute time frame let me just uh, scroll back to the left and we can see that is exactly the support I have told you about earlier that this was a support number one and I was waiting for the candle to go down all the way until it hit the very lowest bottom of this support level and we can see now the candle is reversing actually after hitting that level so the candle has started to reverse and I'm going to select my take profit level and check this out almost 20 pips because I have here a small wick here it is very possible that this market actually might reverse right or actually continue falling down right after hitting this previous week here and it might actually continue falling um, that is a possibility however uh, in reality I think the market is going to continue rising up all the way until it hit this previous support level right here which is 40 pips away however as I'm telling you always never get greedy and let's wait and see what will gonna happen right now all of the trades are going in loss and we can see that okay good that's good usually the full bar like that indicating a possibility of the reversal especially knowing that the candle has closed exactly on the very same line I have drawn earlier interesting so the candle has exactly closed at the lowest level of the support of number one that's very interesting so we can expect from this candle to actually start going up and hit our take profit level let's just wait and see actually my goodness uh, the EuroCAD actually not going well at all uh, it's already in 31 pips of loss 71 dollars of loss in total let's just wait and see what's gonna happen uh, this candle here doesn't really mean anything it doesn't mean that the market is going to continue uh, breaking out from the trend 
uh oh sorry from the level therefore i'm just gonna wait and see what will gonna happen let's just wait guys and see what will gonna happen i'm gonna keep my eyes on all of the trades i believe the market is gonna reverse right now uh, that is actually the perfect time look at that if we look at the left for the euro cad we can see that we're having right here a resistance level therefore we can expect from the market to actually reverse on that resistance if it didn't reverse die right there meaning i have to close the trade with the loss so uh, as i said i'm gonna keep my eyes on all of these three trades and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen and in case we had loss i will show you how we can hopefully recover them so as i told you don't ever rush to decide that the trade has closed in loss always actually i'm going to place another trade because the cat gpy is making very good reversal and i'm very sure it's gonna continue rising all the way up until it hit the take profit level so i will uh, set eight pips profit for my second trade uh, actually guys um, we always have to be careful when we are trading don't use big loss sizes to your small accounts and also actually what i did um, always we have to look for another setup once we see the trade going against us so in the eurocad for example look at that the eurocad now is reversing is going in profit uh, after being in big loss i wish i placed my trade right here look at that uh, as i mentioned to you before uh, once we saw the candle going against our direction i just looked at the left and I saw here we are having a previous resistance and I was expecting from the market once it reached that resistance to reverse that is exactly what happened so look at that right now I'm in total of $26 of profit uh, that's why actually you should never decide to close immediately the trade in loss yes I am aware of uh, something not good that the trades was in total of $65 of loss uh, while I'm aiming like 30 or $40 uh, of profit actually you have to understand i never enter three or four trades at the same time while i'm doing the live trades i'm doing it just here for educational purpose on my account for you but usually i never do that if i want to actually do the live trading uh, on my own without recording i would just enter one or two maximum uh, one or two trades maximum at the same time and I want you actually guys to do the same look at that the Eurocad is touching the take profit level and I'm going to close it right now with the profit maybe it's reversing as I told you therefore just be careful and look at that the CAD GPY is reversing the first red is in 12 pips of profit the other one is in 4 pips of profit we are only having the pound CHF uh, in loss so far I still believe the candle is gonna reverse and we are going to end this video in very good profit uh, again just to remind you i never enter four or three trades at the same time this is a strategy called 20 pips a day strategy for a reason only find one setup guys please do that only find one or two setups per day only if you want to be a day trader forex uh, for, uh, sorry a day forex trader entering trades every single day you must have limits for your trades you always have to strict yourself to a limit of profit and a limit of loss don't ever exceed this or that never you have to remember you have it's very important it's very important guys you should never exceed the targets of the loss or the profits every day so if you are seeing me here entering one trade you should do the same enter only one trade please never ever enter four or five or six trades at the same time i'm just doing it here front of you because actually i am the one who created this strategy and i know what i'm doing you should not do the same look at that the trade is about to hit the take profit level and i'm not a greedy person so i'm going to close now both of them with the profit like that perfect so the account right now is in 535 dollars uh, of profit now let's see uh, the pound chf is going up here let me go to the 30 50 minute time frame let's see uh so far not a, not a single candle indicating a possibility of a breakout therefore i'm gonna keep the trade running and i will pause the video and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with this trade so just a reminder for you <clears throat> the 15 minutes candle has closed on the pound seat shift just like that and that candle does not confirm any breakout candle from, uh, sorry that doesn't confirm any breakout uh, pattern from this level 
therefore I'm gonna keep the trade running and anyway uh, as I said we always have to set take profit level and stop loss and we keep them controlled and for the 20 pips a day strategy I'm gonna select a 20 pips of profit and as well 20 pips of loss however that is not the case here I don't want to do that to be honest with you because I know what I'm doing and I can see that these candles are still reversing I don't think the candle is gonna uh, continue break out from the level therefore uh, we can see right now here that after the candle on the 15 minute time frame after this candle has closed like that we can see that the next candle is red so I'm gonna wait to see how it w uh, what will happen with this candle if this candle gonna continue rising up then most likely we are going to close the trade with the loss and we can easily find some other setup and we can recover the losses and either way we are going to wait so let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you again to show you what will gonna happen with this trade so the trade has been going for some time right now and we can see that the trade the, the losses has been reduced right now uh, we are now on the one hour chart and we can see that right now I'm in the profit so I'm going to finally close this trade and get finished with it so the account right now is on four hundred uh, five hundred and forty one dollars of good profit so a good profit has been made in this video so far uh, not bad for a 26 mesh uh, actually it was more than that for me <laughs> but uh, for you it was 26 minutes so I hope uh, you have learned guys more about the 20 pips a day strategy how we can find setups and how we can actually recover the losses in case they occurred so in the end I really hope that it was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching